this video we're looking at how to authenticate our users with an LDAP server. The LDAP server needs to be accessible by WPC. It can be directly connected to WPC as a host by having the connector software running on it or it can belong to a private network that is connected to WPC. On this slide the HQ network or headquarter network is connected to WPC with a connector and the LDAP server is part of that network. If we're looking at our LDAP server here, um, it is a Windows Server domain controller. And as you can see, I've already created the username LDAP underscore admin, which we're going to use to authenticate our WPC with the LDAP server. There are a couple of pieces of information we need here. I'm going to run a, a DS query uh, slash or space user and this is the binding information that I need for the LDAP underscore admin. Um, we're going to copy this right now so we can use it later and then uh, the next piece of information I need, I need the private IP address of the server. As you can see I got the IP address here 10.0.0.243 so we're going to copy this one too because we will need it in a second. Let's go back to our ad administration portal and I'll click on settings and then user authentication. Once we're on this page, we're going to click on edit. Okay, now we have uh, two options here. As you can see, we're going to go ahead and click on the configure for the private LDAP. Um, and here we're going to enter our information. If you remember, I copied the bind DN uh, from the server. So I'm going to go ahead and paste that here right now. Now, uh, then I go type the password for the LDAP user. Um, this is how we're going to authenticate with the LDAP server. For the uh, base DN is basically everything after the username. Normally, that's what it is. So I'm going to copy that part from here and go ahead and paste it here. Now, username attribute in my uh, environment is Sam account name. So I'm going to just copy and paste it here. And then the user group attribute is member of. So let's go ahead and paste that here. Now for the email attribute, first name attribute and last name, those are optionals. I don't have anything here right now. I'm not going to add anything. Let's go ahead and put LDAP server information. If you remember, I copied the uh, private IP address for the server, so which was 10.0.0.243. Uh, uh, so let's go ahead and put that here. HQ is uh, um, our network name that is connected to the WPC. This is how we connect it. Um, SSL, I'm going to uncheck that because in my environment I don't have a certificate. But in a um, production environment, you better use uh, SSL and uh, up to upload your public certificate. Once you're done, go ahead and click on Next here. And as you can see, the test LDAP server configuration was successful and we are connected. Go ahead and click on OK. In this page, they have the option of uh, turning on the user group sync from LDAP. Um, by doing this, basically, we're going to allow to automatically assign users from LDAP to cloud user group when that user success successfully authenticate. Uh, we're going to look at this in more details in the future videos. But if you turn it on, then you have an option of choosing the group down here. In this environment, we have only one group, default. And then uh, if there is any other rules, you can add those rules here. Again, as I said, we're going to look at that in the future videos. Once you're done, you go ahead and click on Save and Enable LDAP Authentication. Our LDAP is enabled here. Now let's go ahead and test this. Go back to the server. And if you look at the Active Directory, I have a user here with the username Jordan. We're going to use Jordan to test. I'm going to bring up my Connect app. Um, here we go. And then click on plus sign, type the address, and then click next. Um, username, Jordan. I'm going to type that, Jordan. And then the password. And then click on sign in. Now um, it's going to ask for the region. Jordan is in Dallas. Select Dallas and then connect. Um, here we go, we're connected. Now if you head out to users page in administration portal, you're going to see that Jordan was added to the users here. Uh, here we go, Jordan and the authentication source uh, it shows as an LDAP.